Hello everyone, I am Renown Zero, and we are back again talking about Boom Studios expanding on the Keanu Reeves Berserker comic by tapping the Batman Part 2 co-writer for Berserker Fallen Empire. Now, I can 100% say that this comic book series of 12 books was very good. I've collected every single issue. I've backed the Kickstarter. Now, my only issue with the Kickstarter, however, in comparison to something like the Ripperverse and Isom, is that the third volume is still missing. I haven't received it yet. But at least when I back books by the Ripperverse, I get them on time within the window that it says it will be released and it's not delayed. So that is one thing that this is a mainstream book. Even though Boom is kind of more independent than it is more mainstream, at least I can say with the Ripperverse, I get my books on time. I don't have to wait months to get every single piece of the book. And also, I'm not getting exactly the covers that I ordered. I'm getting essentially covers that I could have bought at my local comic shop, which what I would have rather went to my local comic shop and bought it. At least they would have been, you know, they would have gotten some money. But let's jump right in this article from Bounding into Comics. Boom Studios announced they are expanding the realm of Keanu Reeves' Berserker by tapping the Batman Part 2 Mattson Tomlin to pen Berserker Fallen Empire. Now, I feel like this is going to be very well done. Judging by this, in my opinion, I think this is very nice. I thought the artwork for Berserker was pretty good. Not only is Tomlin the screenwriter for Bat the Batman Part 2, he's also working on adapting the original Berserker series by Reeves, Matt Kent, and artist Ron Garney. His previous film credits include Netflix's Project Power and Hulu's Mother's Last Android. Never watched any of those shows. I did not watch the Batman, so I don't know how that's going to go. I hope it's... I hope it gets done very well. The comics, like I said, are very good. The story of it is very, very good. Tomlin's previous comic credits include Batman the Imposter, where he collaborated with artist Andrea Sorrentino at DC, as well as Boom Studios of Vicious Psycho, where he teamed up with artist Lee Bermio. Meet Bermijo. In a press release, Boom Studios revealed Tomlin is joined by artists Rebecca Isaacs and colorist Jordi Belair to for Berserker. Fallen Empire number one. It looks like these are some concept art. Characters designs. I think these are pretty decent. It could be a little better. As for the story, the official depiction states, The lone survivor of Olos, a long dead once thriving empire, tells a tale of B's distant past and the deletion and cataclysm he brought forth. It adds, but what did B find that could have driven him to such harmful ends the desires of the heart are as much a weapon as any of B's arsenal this is of course a reference to this character this is the main character that's supposed to be essentially Keanu Reeves in this book there's supposed to be an animated series and a live action movie with Keanu Reeves for Berserker I'm hoping and of course it's Netflix really hoping they don't mess that up but who knows it's Netflix Tomlin commented, given that I've been adapting the feature film version of Berserker, it's a surreal honor to have been invited to pen a small chapter in B's 80,000 years to history and add to his story in comics. Rebecca Isaacs is a rock star. Her wonderful artwork in Fallen Empire's sweeping, harmful romance is going to make your heart skip a beat more than once. He continued, what a delight to play in the world Keanu, Matt, Ron, Bill, Clem, and Boom have created. Like I said, I'm okay with these designs. I think they're pretty decent. Not the best, but they're not terrible. I think this looks pretty good right here, actually. Isaacs also shared, quote, Working in an epic timeline like Berserker's that spans all of human civilization is a special treat to be able to slow down and watch B and what makes him tick through more of a micro lens. Madsen is brilliant at fleshing out the sub sub subtleties of complex characters. I was sucked in immediately and can't wait for Berserker fans to get this glimpse into this gripping and heartbreaking moment in B's history, she concluded. The first issue of the series will feature covers by Isaacs, Joel Jones, Jenny Frizen, and Yannick Paquette. The series arrives on comic book shelves on November 29, 2023. And hopefully, they have some awesome foil covers. I've collected all the foil covers for all 12 issues of Berserker. They all look fantastic. I thought the artwork for those covers were very good. And I'm hoping this series is good as well. I do plan on checking this out when it does release in November. I'll be looking forward to it. I heard about this series coming 
and I'm hoping that it'll be just as good as the original 12 issues of Berserker. I, I highly recommend this book to anyone who is a comic fan who wants to read something very gory, violent, and the like, and just wants a good overall story. I think this is a very good pickup, and I recommend anyone check this one out. Even if you have to buy an omnibus book or something of the like, I highly recommend this comic. I think everyone should read this comic. It's probably one of the better independent comics that came out in the last year or two. Next to The Last Ronin. I think The Last Ronin is a very good series as well. I think if you don't have that and you want to read some good comics, I think The Last Ronin is a very good comic as well. But I think I'm going to wrap it up there. I hope everybody has looked into the community tab and voted on the poll for our next live stream. Should hopefully be happening this Saturday coming up around noon, same time as last time. And I thank you all for checking out this video. I really do appreciate all the new subscribers, returning subscribers, new viewers, returning viewers. If you do like the video, hit the like button and comment below your feelings about this. Are you going to pick up this comic when it comes out? Subscribe for more content like this. I do do com content, pop culture content, some video game content. I do mostly rip reverse detractor content but i do want to dabble into doing some reviews of video games and some shows like futurama and the castlevania series coming so if you like any of that type of content please do go ahead and hit the subscribe button i'd really appreciate it i do have memberships there's a join button down there you can join for a dollar a month if you want to support the channel you can also do the super thanks on the video if you want to support the channel i do have other links in the description you can check all of those out and i'll see you all on the next one peace